Hey everyone, it's Donald. Uh, today what we're gonna do is actually, I think this is for the most part last video we truly need, but we'll see what happens, is the relay board on this machine is within the system. So first off, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, please like the video and please share this with people that might be working on this system. That's why these videos are created, is just to make sure we try helping people out. So first thing we'll do, is remove the grounding screw that's in here. Obviously it's unplugged like we always do before we ever mess with anything. So remove your grounding screw, just kind of set this to the side. You guys will use it again. Uh, pull this system out. And what we're gonna do is I'm actually going to, so a lot of you guys are looking at these wires these wires, for the most part, shouldn't matter if they're white or black, which side they go, but we'll put them the same way they were. Um, but the white wires are closest to the CPU, so we'll remember that in the future. But because I want to show you guys in case if you don't do everything and keep track of it all, we'll just take all these wires out. And I'm not going to... I would mark them if I were you guys, but I'm not going to because we're going to find them together in case if you do um, not have them marked. So the first thing we'll do is obviously uh, take all of our wires out. They are on here normally pretty good. So might be a little bit of pulling that needs to happen. If you have to do it to the side, kind of do it sideways uh, so you're not making the board itself, uh, the connectors go sideways. So I'm kind of just going up and down if you kind of see what I'm doing to get these out. So, and then normally these ones are actually the Kind of the biggest pain. <sighs> it's probably the number one fix people are currently doing after reading a lot of groups and talking to a lot of people is this fix here. So This capacitor is probably the one that is on these always the worst, in my opinion. I'm trying to think of what to even use so I don't break it. And really, I feel that <sighs> these are just on here like crazy. Set that there, that way I don't lose it. And then I'm really just trying to get this capacitor off now. These wires. It should not be this hard to take off. So, 
kind of frustrating as a whole, which obviously you guys get frustrated doing this as well. So there's one off. So these are uh, the wire cutters I used earlier. What I'm doing is just using the very tip of them to kind of push up on those and they end up coming off. So we got all of our wires off, right? We'll take off our, set that to the side. And then the last bit you guys have is to take off the screw. If you just take a screwdriver, kind of hold that nut on there. It's not on too crazy, uh, typically. Obviously, you're gonna keep that. There's a washer in between. You'll end up keeping that. And then this right here. So, once you have those parts just set aside, you'll just jimmy this off of here. There's on using these plastic clips. So let's take that out. So this is typically what goes bad. Grab, a, grab your other one and we're gonna do the same thing, putting it back in. So clips first is what I always do. Put them down in this little spot. They'll push down. Take your screw and the washer, and I do these at the same time. Hopefully you guys can kind of see. I put the washer in, in between the board. Get the screw up inside. Try not to lose everything. So get that all up, right? Grab your nut, set it right there on top, and you can kind of hand start this a little bit, and then you'll use your screwdriver to finish it up. And make that tight. And then in turn, you're gonna wanna make sure you have that washer in, because it keeps that board from touching this metal here. I uh, definitely don't want to take a chance of burning your house down. So this one right here is your uh, ambient temperature. So it's going to go in the spot right here. It is labeled J18. So you'll plug it in there. There's another one that looks just like it in this area. It's going to go in J17. Like so. This one here obviously just goes right back into the spot that it can only fit into. But if you want to know the number, it is... Uh, Looks like C50 or J21 is what I think it is. Uh, there's a lot of numbers all in here. It has to do with the board and everything else. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is the heater. And this is connected to your epoxy harness. Um, so in turn, they're both black, it don't matter. Just plug them in here on the heater. Make sure they're plugged all the way in. Okay. Condenser is 
This one here that comes from the center, it kind of goes down to the condensing unit. You'll see it. So we'll plug the condenser on. You have another set of wires that look exactly like the ones you just put on, okay? So the only wires that are really left are these two, which these ones are thicker. These ones look just like the other ones you've already done there. The top might be a little different, but they look just like the other ones. These ones are gonna be your vacuum. And then we'll plug the other one in in a second. And then these ones here are gonna be your AC in. They're right behind the, uh, the capacitator here. I think that's how you say it. So, we'll just plug those ones in. Okay, so we'll make sure those are in nice. And then you have the capacitator ones. These ones just go in the ones that say spare. Just like so. So we now have this put back together other than just putting on our grounding wire. So we'll put this back on like this. I can get it actually inside there. Oh, ribbon cable. So definitely need that in order to get power. This is a nice tight fit for people with bigger hands or fingers. So we'll put that in there and then we will put this back on. Like so. Grab our nut and our washer for the grounding wire. So, uh, screw, grounding wire, washer, and then you'll screw in to that area here. All right, so in turn, we now have the whole relay board back together. So if your tray sensor shows the wrong, uh, say you have your, if you turn on your freeze, let's say, but your heaters turn it on, you just put them in the wrong spot on the relay board. So that's a fix. If your relay board is like clicking, more than likely it's just a bad uh, relay. And in turn, they'll send you a whole new board. Um, you can always test that by switching out your the heater element with the condenser wires and then turn on the freeze and your heater is actually gonna turn on if that makes any sense. You're just doing the opposite, right? Um, but that's how you can kind of test to see what is kind of broke on this. Uh, there's some people that are looking at replacing some of these. Uh, however, I haven't got too far into that. If you're, have your freeze on, 
but your ambient temperature is starting to move down and not, or so your room temperature is starting to move down and not your trace temperature, just switch these two with each other. So that's like been a big thing that I've seen recently is just those two get swapped, not a big deal. Other than that, everything else is kind of just plug and play. If you connect these two together with tape and put on there, hey, this is condenser. That's a way that I've done it when I first started doing this. And the same with the heater wires and stuff like that. But just know your heater wires are gonna connect to your epoxy harness. The condenser is gonna come from the bottom where the condenser actually is. And then your vacuum is gonna come out of the bottom where your plug is for your whole system. And if you actually follow it, you'll see it's coming from the one, this is coming from the one that you plug your vacuum into. So, and then these right here are obviously giving you your power and that's coming from the main power supply. So let me know if you guys have any trouble or questions about this. It's gonna be the same way even on the older machine that I used to have. It's actually, in my opinion, easier on the older machine since it's all just right here and you're, it's not all like jam packed together. So, but I hope that uh, helps you guys out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Um, if there's a video that I'm missing on the channel, let me know as well. But I know we've done the relay board. We've done a screen CPU slash USB. We've done the epoxy harness. We've done the vacuum sensor, the vacuum sensor board. Uh, the drain valve is pretty self-explanatory. It turns, comes off and goes on. We've done a wire by uh, the power bypass. Um, and I'm, if I need to make a video on changing the drain valve, I definitely can. Uh, it's using two wrenches and just loosening it. But if I need to, just let me know and I'll definitely make that video for you guys. I think the last video is really probably looking at the freeze that's happening on the copper, wire, copper tubing here. Um, but that video could be really long and you have to have proper certifications and everything to have that type of Freon and be refilling them. So I'm not sure if I want to go into that. Just do the fact that uh, I don't want to hold my, I don't want to be held liable because somebody doesn't follow the law, but that is on you. So I might make the video anyway. So um, let me know if you guys have any trouble at all. We got to do a software update. I need to verify on this machine. I'll make that video as well because that's obviously something we're doing a lot as well with these machines. So, but that being said, hopefully you guys like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle jammies. Uh, I hope you guys have a great night, day, wherever it is where you're at. I just had somebody from um, El Salvador actually message me the other day. So, uh, I know we're doing some in El Salvador, Australia, all over the United States, Canada. So I know we're helping a lot of Harvest Strike right customers out. Uh, I did talk to Tim from Stay Fresh. He claims he's going to be sending me a machine so I can test that machine, do a review on the machine, all that type of stuff. I've recently been in contact with the, pe with the people from Defreeze. It's looking like most likely I'll be looking at uh, testing their machine as well giving them some help, uh, you know, reviews and all that type of stuff. So, um, but I just want to thank you guys all so much for uh, supporting us. Um, I can't thank you guys enough for all the support that Felix and I do get uh, with your guys' support on the channel and within the Facebook group that we have. If you guys need one-on-one -on -one support, send us a message, uh, hrrepairpro at gmail.com or freeze dryer repair support. It's the same exact name as a YouTube video if you find us on Facebook. We also are in there. Typically, we're always gonna ask you guys to do the Felix fix first because that is where the vast majority of our problems are. I just got done helping a lady today. She did the Felix fix. We made sure everything was good to go and now she has numbers that are lower than she's ever had before, even though she's ran successful batches before. So. Remember, the reason why we, I'm going to go into the reason why we don't do off-gassing later, but 
Uh, we'll talk about that at a different time. But all right, well, there you guys have it. There's a relay board replacement. I hope you guys have a great day. Sorry for keep talking. Have a good one.